Surf Strength Coach, I'm Chris Mills here in Colorado. This is my aunt's backyard. I'm going to talk to you about some fundamental movement patterns. Just before coming to Colorado, I spent a couple weeks in California teaching some seminars, which was awesome. Thank you for all of those that came and listened to me ramble for a bit. Hope you learned something. So between working with clients, and doing seminars, and consulting with people, I see movement all the time. And two kind of really fundamental movement patterns are a squat and a push-up. And if you can clean those two things up, you have so much other training potential. But the basic of a squat, like a goblet squat or a front squat or even a body weight squat, and a basic push-up just have so much carryover. And then you look at the other movements of surfing, so bend patterns, pulling, twisting, you gotta train those things as well, lunging. Um, so let's take a look at the squat and push-up. First thing, what do I usually see? So a lot of people don't know how to shift weight into their hips. So a lot of squatting looks like this. So I can't keep my toes or my heels down. Well, you might not be able to keep your heels down because your ankle's locked up, or you don't know how to shift weight into the hips. You just know how to squat like that. That is so harsh on the knee. That hurts my knee just doing that. Another thing, we call it valgus collapse, is over pronation of the ankle in this medial movement of the knee. So you're losing the arch, knees are collapsing in. It could be because you don't have enough range of motion through an ankle, or you're not using your lateral hip muscles to keep the knees out. I shouldn't be able to push the knees out, right? So <clears throat> start with foot position. People say you need to squat with your feet forward, 20 degrees out, blah, blah, blah. People have different structural anomalies. Some people's head of the femur is rotated forward or backward. Some people have tibial torsions where the lower leg bone is twisted. So to say a blanket statement, everybody needs to squat this way, doesn't make sense. So an easy way, without being physically assessed, this is a way to do it. Feet about hip width apart, lift your weight up off your toes, right? So all the weights on my heels, squeeze your glutes. See how it turned my feet out? That kind of toe, or that foot out position where you get to, is roughly where you should squat. Cool, there could be changes, but for YouTube instructional stuff, right there. Second, we need to start creating torque when we squat. So think of spreading the floor laterally and rotating the feet out. So if this is, these are my feet, I'm trying to spread them apart and also turn them out but I'm not actually letting them move. I'm putting that force into the ground. So down, lateral, external rotation. I'm winding up tension through the hips, cool? Press the hips back, almost like you're trying to sit into a chair and then start coming down. So when you're loading squats in the gym, watch my low back. And it starts to move probably about there. It started to round. I lost hip range of motion, so the only way else I could get motion was the low back. When you're training, we don't want rounding. If you've got load going through the spine, totally flat, stable spine, your bottom position is as low as you can get without rounding. See right there I rounded. So that'd be as low as I would train in the gym. Weight through the heels, weight through the balls of the feet. Push the hips back. The knees can come forward, that's fine but we need to share the load through the hips. The knees can cross the toes a bit. We're getting into technicals of squatting. Just think butt back, right? So tight glutes, feet turn out, spread the floor, external rotation. You should feel tension here. Push the hips back, chest stays forward. Think of having a marble in the sternal notch. You can't lose that marble. Bottom position, I should be able to come push your knees in and they don't move. Keep pushing them out. You're using those lateral hip stabilizers and that's a squat. Weight up front, train it with a goblet squat, then progress to front squats, back squats if you're cool with them, if your shoulders are all good, train some back squats if you want. Why is that relevant? Think of all the squatting patterns through surfing. If this is your body weight squat pattern, you're not controlling joints properly, you're not stabilizing forces, it's limiting your capacity for performance in the water and putting up some risk of injury. Once you go with squatting, we can start looking at 
rotational jumps, force absorption. That's a lot of things surfers need to get to. Clean up your squat pattern. If you got more questions, get in touch. Set up a Skype console. Push-ups. Pathway of the arms. Hands up in front of the shoulders. Bring your hands out to where your thumb is kind of at the lateral edge of the elbow or shoulder. That is your push pathway. Cool? Elbows are not flared out. They're at about 40, 45 degree. That's your push-up pathway. Then we look at core control. So anterior tilt, posterior tilt. You see that difference? We want to try to keep a neutral, slightly posterior tilt, slightly posterior, so pretty much neutral when we're doing push-ups. A lot of people start doing that. They're not controlling the front of the core. They're not integrating the core into that pushing pattern. That's what we need. So anterior, posterior. Posterior, you should feel tension here in the glutes. That's what we want. Most people set up here, okay? It's not using the core. Get hips up, and then people want an anterior tilt. You gotta keep that posterior neutral, neutral pelvis. Some people, they'll try to go too far posterior or past neutral, and they start going into this th spine flexion. We need a straight spine, head in place, tight stomach, neutral position, not overly posterior, not anterior. Two seconds down, two seconds up. Girls or with shoulder problems, come to the knees. Just to learn it, I'd rather you not do knees at all and just prop your hands up on something elevated, a bench or something up. So you're working that entire kinetic chain up the front of the body, not coming off the knees. Consulted with a guy yesterday, looking at his push-up. He'd come down, he'd get loaded, then he'd come here, up. Neutral pelvis position, keep that tension, whole time. Why is this important? Pop-ups. You can start doing unstable training with rings, TRXs, high-speed throwing work with the arms or pushing work. Push-ups, squats, really fundamental movement patterns. And then you can just <clears throat> add in the other fundamental movement patterns for surfing, bending, twisting, lunging, pulling, paddling is pulling. Get good at your squats, basic squats basic push-ups, and then progress stuff. People see too much fluff on the internet, high-level performance athletes doing really high-level stuff. Work on the basics, and when you have those nailed, progress. If you want to, get in touch. We'll set up a Skype consult, tweak some things for you. Train smart, train efficiently, use your body.